Hi, I'm Eric Elliott. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to simplify your reducers. Um, before we get into that though, you need to know that reducers should be pure functions. And if you don't know what a pure function is, head on over to ericelliottjs.com and check out the free lesson, Intro to Pure Functions, and that'll get you up to speed. The basics are given the same inputs, always return the same output, and it can have no side effects. And what that means is that in your reducer function, our state needs to um, not be mutated directly. And this creates kind of an awkward situation in reducer functions, and I'll show you what I mean. So here we have our state that gets this initial state shape, and then as we get our action type, um, we're gonna try to like a post, and as we get our that like action, we need to modify a key inside of the state object. So it's kind of like this nested, we, can, we need to go in two levels to set the property that we're, that we're looking for. And this is a little bit unwieldy using regular JavaScript because we can't just go and set the state.likes.whatever to whatever we want because that would mutate the state and we can't do that. So what we need to do is we need to create a new object, which is what we're doing here, and then mix in the existing state. And then because we're diving in another level deep, we need to mix in the state.likes into the new likes object as well. So this is, gets a little bit unwieldy and we wanna fix this. We wanna make this situation easier to manage. So that's where Emer comes in. You can import produce from Emer up here, and then we can turn this nonsense, right, into this. And as you can see, it's already less code, but it's also easier to read. So what we do here is we'll get, as our state, we'll get this draft, which we can directly manipulate, just like it was a mutable object, because draft is a mutable object. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna apply our state changes to the draft, and then after it's done, it's going to look at the difference between the draft and the existing state and create a new object with just those changes made. And this is great because we're not actually manipulating our existing state, so our function stays pure, but we get to use, just we just grab it and do what we want with it, even though it's a pure function. So that's what we're doing here. We're, um, we're in this like uh, action, we're grabbing our draft.likes and our payload ID, which is the property on the likes that we wanna set, and we're just directly setting that with our payload instead of doing that awkward mix-in stuff that we were doing before. This is really cool. Now you'll notice we can't just override this draft. We can't just do draft equals whatever. Um, because it doesn't work quite the same way. So what happens here is this produce function will actually partially apply, all right? And then it will create our real reducer function. And uh, so this is gonna return a function. And this, as the second argument to produce, it takes our initial state. So instead of draft equals initial state, like we would do up here, where we do state equals initial state, um, we just pass the initial state in as a second argument to produce, and it does the right thing, and it passes all the same tests. As you can see down here, this test is passing. So if you like this, and you wanna learn a lot more, if you wanna know what a partial application is, or what pure functions are, or anything like that, head on over to ericelliotjs.com and check out the lessons. Uh, there's lots of really great content there. There's like five hours of video on TDD and like lots of stuff about functional programming and, and object-oriented programming, things like that. Um, also, like and subscribe because I'm gonna be posting more videos like this if you like this one. See you later.